That's right. We're just prepping. Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Christian from Treffle, looking at Bablo. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, that's, uh, that's at Spiel 2013, I was hoping you could give an overview of this colorful, candy-looking, yeah, candy-ish no, looking no game problem, here. No problem. Uh, so this is uh, based off charades, uh, but it's a bigger modification. Uh, we've changed some stuff, we've added some stuff, so I will just uh, show you how it works. Uh, first of all, this is the deck of cards. There are lots of cards here, about 160, 80, I believe, lots of cards. Uh, each card has uh, five, five different uh, words, uh, sentences that can be shown, written, uh, or spoken about, but without using these words. So, okay. you know, charade. Now, the game works like this. It's my turn. For example, we are playing uh, single players, not team variant. So, it's my turn. I throw the dice. I roll a five. Let's say I'm green. One, two, three, four, five. Now, blue is showing. So, I will be showing, and I'm drawing from this pile, number five, because I rolled five. So I will be showing, and I don't know if you want me to show this or. or we already no, saw I, it. I we already know. saw it. So. I'm a little bit afraid of. It. Yeah. You have to. You yeah, have to yeah, do yeah, that okay, without us seeing okay. it. Okay. So I'll. I'll be showing. Please don't laugh. Okay. So it's laugh. All right. Someone very tall. Very tall. The basketball. Something's rising. It's a steeple. It's a church steeple. It's the peak, apex, uh, top of something. Okay. Oh, there's more. Uh, top of a box, ten. He's giving a clue here with the number. Top ten list. Top ten. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and now. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, the card uh, goes to the player who guessed it, and each card has a special symbol that's written on the top. For example, this is an attack card. There are many other cards, for example, an anchor. It does other stuff, a key, a plus one, minus one. So there are lots of stuff. Uh, it's, it's, you know, an incentive for you to guess. Because when you don't guess, I fall back to the space I started from. Okay. So when I am further along and you are all like here, there would be no incentive for you to guess my stuff because you, I would they'll fall. But you get the card and it's a, it's a good bonus. Okay, so, well, so what are the bonuses to? Yeah, so let's start with the bonuses. Uh, Jacek, if you could find other bonuses, it would be cool. So, this is an attack card. You use it with another card and I will explain what the card does and it then goes on the other player. It's not for you. This, an anchor. When you are here, for example, uh, sorry, when you are here, when you land on this space and you don't have an anchor, you fall down to the space that matches the color. So these, these spaces match, these uh, spaces match, and so on and so on. So if you don't have an anchor, you fall down. If you have an anchor, you can stay on the spot, you don't draw any question because this is the, uh, a special place. So this is the anchor. The key works in an opposite way. If you're on the down space, you need a key, you need a to, key to teleport up. Okay. And then you don't need an anchor to stay there, you just teleport it so it's all right. Uh, this is a second move. After you've played, you've moved, either you've lost or you've, you've managed to go there, you can play this card and you can go again. Roll the dice again, go again plus one and also there's a minus one card uh, it's like this it sets uh, so plus one minus one uh, it's best to use with the attack card for example because I land here and my opponent says no I use this I land here I don't have an anchor I fall down so it was a good attack card okay. uh, minus one works exactly the same this this uh, allows me to choose my, w my method of presenting. For example, uh, I stand here and I don't want to draw because red is drawing. I like to show, so I will be showing this, uh, this any, 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 any word I, I, I've you know, drawn. Okay. Now this, this means 
I can uh, take any any of these phrases, any of these words, and I can present them the way I have uh, I have you know drawn. <laughs> okay. So, for example, uh, I've rolled two. I wouldn't want to present French kiss. I would want to present something else. If I had another card lying li with this light bulb, I could use it and I could present something different. So all of these are one-time uses? Yeah, one-time uses. They go to the discount. That's why we have two spaces, one for the pile and one for the discount pile. Okay. And first player to the end wins? Yeah, first player to the end wins. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to mention one. When you throw one, well, you move just a little. But the advantage is you can also uh, pick whatever you want to show or draw or tell. Okay. So that's the game. And the first one there to, uh, to the finish line wins. You can play it as a team variant. You can play it as a solo variant, uh, which is good because most trade games uh, mainly play as a team variant. So yeah, the, the single variant is... Here you just need three people and... And you can play the game. Great. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Thanks for, for coming. <laughs>